Hey guys, Jason Timothy here, musicsoftwaretraining.com, and we're going to get into crossfading in Ableton 11. And this should be the same for Ableton 10. Uh, in Ableton 9, the fade option is a little bit different. With Ableton 10 and 11, in order to see your fades, you have to make sure your automation is turned off. If the automation is on, then you're not going to be able to access your fades. And if you got your automation on and you're clicking A and it's not turning it off, it's probably because you've got this MIDI icon on and it's playing the A key as a MIDI note instead of turning on and off your automation. So to turn this on and off, you would hit M. So turn off your MIDI and then you could toggle your automation off and on. So when your automation is off, you've got your fade. So that's going to be important to do a crossfade. So Without crossfades, what we would normally have to do is something like this on two separate tracks. We would overlap the parts and then we would turn on our automation and then kind of do something like this and something like this. And then we can fade this one out while we fade this one in. Something like that. Uh, so how do we do that on the same track? Well, let me show you. So what you need is you need to have room on your clip. As you can see, I've got extra space here. So if this was just a sample of this length, then we would have to cut this back if you wanted to do a crossfade because otherwise we got no room to do the crossfade. I hope that makes sense. But both of these have some extra space. So what we wanna do is we wanna kind of figure out where we want to crossfade. So let's say we want to crossfade from here, right? And here. So what that means is I would back this off here and back this off here, because those are going to be the zones that we're crossfading, right? Actually, you have to decide which one you're going to crossfade into. So I could actually have this back like this and then when these are up, we want to turn our automation off. Now we got our crossfades. And now we're going to crossfade from the left clip to the right clip. And we just click right here and just pull it across. As you can see, as long as there's space on this clip, we can create that crossfade. And we can make a short one or we can make a really long one, right? Depending on how much space we've got on this sample. And with that, And there we go. We've got our crossfade right there. Now, if we want to do it the other way where we crossfade from this into here, then we could make this longer because this is the area that we want to crossfade into. And this here, let's see, where do we want to crossfade? I want to kind of crossfade this area here. So I'm going to back that off, butt these up against each other. And then I can go from the right clip and drag over to the left clip. And it's going to drag into the first clip. And now we've got... Like so. Really, really smooth. So that is how you crossfade in Ableton. Hope this helps, guys.